Welcome. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing um, in this example is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to evaluate your six trigonometric functions when we're given a point um, on the unit, um, where we're given an angle that is going to intersect our point that will be on the unit circle. So when I'm going over a, a point like uh, this, t equals pi over six, we need to go ahead and represent where is that angle going to intersect um, in on the unit circle. So if we go ahead and take a look at this, and we will, uh, when we're going to take a look, um, what we're going to do is we want to see where is this angle going to intersect the unit circle. Now, thankfully for us, this angle is in the first quadrant. So I can see that this angle, pi over 6 or 30 degrees, intersects at square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be um, pretty easy that we can determine that our point is going to be at square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Now, remember, when we're evaluating for the six trigonometric functions, when we have a point that's on the unit circle, we know that those um, the trigonometric functions relate to what point, uh, relate to, I'm sorry, which coordinate we're going to be talking about. So the sine of our angle is going to be equal to the y coordinate of that point, which in this case is 1 half. The cosine of that angle is going to be equal to the, um, is going to be equal to the x coordinate. And the tangent is going to equal to the y coordinate over the x coordinate, where in this case our y coordinate is 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Now, I know in a couple of the videos I've kind of broken this down, and I'm going to kind of try to simplify this a little bit quicker. Um, when we have 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2, since we're both dividing here by 2, these 2's will divide out, and I'm left with 1 over the square root of 3, where then I need to make sure I rationalize the denominator. And therefore, my final answer for the tangent of t is going to be the square root of 3 over 3. When dealing with the cosecant, that's going to be my 1 over my y, which is 1 over 1 half. And again, you can still, um, you can still simplify this and, and go ahead and get it to 2. But one thing I want you guys to always understand is you know, I could have done that over here. Um, but just multiply by the reciprocal. Whenever you're multiplying your denominator by your reciprocal, that multiplies out to 1. 1 times 2 over 1 is just going to be 2. And I can do that exactly the same thing over here as the secant is going to be 1 over x, which is square root of 3 over 2. So therefore, I'll multiply by the reciprocal again. And therefore, that multiplies out to 1. But now I'm left with 2 over the square root of 3. Very similar to what I had over here. So I have to rationalize the denominator again by multiplying by the square root of 3 on the top and the bottom. And so therefore, I'm left with 2 times square root of 3 over 3. And for the cotangent, I'll break this one up for you guys. Um, here, I'm just going to have the reciprocal of what I had for the tangent, which is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Actually, again, let's just make this simple. Let's get this quick. Again, these 2's will divide out. And I'm just left with the square root of 3 over 1, which is just the square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your six trigonometric functions uh, when given an angle that it produces a point on the unit circle, especially one that's so nice of us, like in the first quadrant. Thanks. Yeah, I think uh, I think you just sweep and stuff like that. Uh, just, I'm just.